given question a four stroke four cylinder engine running at 2000 rpm develops 60 kilowatt brake thermal efficiency 30% calorific value of fuel 42 mega joule per kilogram bore diameter 120 millimeter stroke 100 millimeter density of air 1.15 kilogram per meter cube air fuel ratio 15 is to 1 mechanical efficiency 0 0.8 calculate first fuel consumption kilogram per second air consumption meter cube per second indicated thermal efficiency volumetric efficiency brake mean effective pressure mean piston speed Let us understand given data. This is four stroke, four cylinder engine. Speed is given in RPM that is revolution per minute. Its notation is N. N is equal to 2000 RPM. Power developed is also known as brake power. It is 60 kilowatt. This 60 kilowatt we will write here as a 60 kilojoule per second. That is watt means joule per second. So, kilowatt we will write here as a kilojoule per second. Brake thermal efficiency. So, nita BTH is equal to 30 percent. So, 30 percent that means 30 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.3. Calorific value of fuel. So, it is given 42 mega joule per kilogram. But standard unit is kilojoule per kilogram. So, we will write here as a 42 into 10 raised to 3 kilojoule per kilogram. Bore diameter D is equal to 120 millimeter. So, standard unit is meter. So, we can write here as a 0 0.12 meter. Stroke L is 100 millimeter that is 0 0.1 meter. Then density of air is given. 1.15 kilogram per meter cube air fuel ratio 15 is to 1 and mechanical efficiency is equal to 0 0.8 and we have to find out fuel consumption unit is given kilogram per second air consumption unit is given meter cube per second then indicated thermal efficiency volumetric efficiency brake mean effective pressure as well as piston speed. So, these terms we have to calculate. So, we will take the first fuel consumption. So, how to calculate this fuel consumption in kilogram per second? If we observe the given data, brake thermal efficiency as well as brake power mentioned in the question. So, we have formula. Brake thermal efficiency nita BTH is equal to brake power unit is kilojoule per second divided by mass of fuel per second multiplied by calorific value. Now, if we observe brake power is having unit kilojoule per second divided by mass of fuel that is kilogram. So, it is mass of fuel is in kilogram per second multiplied by CV that is calorific value is kilojoule per kilogram. Now, if we observe this kilogram, kilogram is getting cancelled and this kilojoule per second and kilojoule per second is getting cancelled. So, if we take this, then we will get the efficiency in percentage. Now, when we put the all the values, then there is only one unknown term, mass of fuel per second. That is this unknown term, kilogram per second. So, when we calculate this term, when we put the value brake power 60, then calorific value 42 into 10 raised to 3 and this is 0 0.3. Then we will get the answer 4.76 into 10 raised to minus 3 kilogram per second. So, this is the fuel consumption in kilogram per second. So, we can say that this is the first answer. So, this is the first answer. Now, we will move to the second air consumption. So, air consumption it is in gaseous state. So, the unit is meter cube per second. So, how to calculate this? For that we will refer air fuel ratio. It is given 15 is to 1. So, air to fuel ratio we will write here as a, a by F is equal to air consumption by fuel consumption. Now, we will write it is a unit. 
Now air consumption is having unit meter cube per second divided by fuel consumption. Fuel consumption is here it is kilogram per second. So, how to calculate this because if we observe on left hand side it is the ratio that is it is having no unit. So, if we multiply this air consumption with this density of air, so which is kilogram per meter cube. So, I will write here kilogram per meter cube. Then this I will write rewrite this all the units here meter cube per second multiplied by kilogram per meter cube divided by kilogram per second. Now, if we observe we will balance this left hand side and right hand side. This second second is getting cancelled. Then this kilogram kilogram is getting cancelled. This meter cube meter cube is also getting cancelled. So, this equation is balanced only when we will multiply here with density of air. So, we have to multiply this with density of air. So, we will put the value 15 is to 1 is equal to air consumption which is in meter cube per second multiplied by density of air 1.15 divided by fuel consumption which is in kilogram per second 4.76 into 10 raise to minus 3. So, air consumption we will get the value in meter cube per second. So, this is the second answer. So, I will write here underline this and this is the second answer. Next question is indicated thermal efficiency nita ith. So, it is the formula is indicated power that is IP which is in kilojoule per second divided by input energy in fuel which is also in kilojoule per second. So, how to calculate this indicated power that is IP. So, brake power is given as well as mechanical efficiency is also given. So, we will write here nita mechanical that is mechanical efficiency is equal to it is the ratio of brake power by indicated power. So, when we put the value then we will get indicated power is 75 kilowatt. So, we can write here as a 75 kilojoule per second. Now, this is as per the unit. Now, what about this denominator? So, input energy, energy in fuel how to calculate? So, it is a mass of fuel or we can say fuel consumption multiplied by calorific value. Now, if we observe fuel consumption is in kilogram per second. So, if I write here kilogram per second multiplied by calorific value is kilojoule per kilogram. So, when we multiply this then this kilogram kilogram is getting cancelled and denominator is also in kilojoule per second. So, we will multiply this. So, fuel consumption we have calculated 4.76 into 10 raise to minus 3 multiplied by 42 into 10 raise to 3. So, when we calculate we will get 0 0.37. So, this efficiency always in percentage. So, multiply with 100 it is 37 percent. Now, we will calculate volumetric efficiency nita V. So, it is a formula is actual air consumption per cylinder divided by displacement volume of air multiplied by number of power strokes per second. Now, for this formula if we observe actual air consumption per cylinder. In this question this is 4 cylinder engine and we have calculated this air consumption for this 4 cylinder. So, air consumption per cylinder we have to calculate. So, how to calculate this air total air consumption divided by 4. So, we will get air consumption per cylinder. So, it is 15.5 into 10 raise to minus 3 meter cube per second. Now, what about number of power strokes? So, if we observe this is 4 stroke engine. So, for 4 stroke engine value of this number of power stroke that is n is equal to capital N by 2. Now, it is capital N is given in RPM. It is 2000 RPM, but here unit is per second. So, how to convert this RPM into RPS? That is we have to divide by 60. So, we will divide here 
that is 2 multiplied by 60 that is n divided by 2 into 60. So, this is the value of n and n is number of power strokes per second. So, we have to put this. Now, displacement volume of air. So, how to calculate the displacement volume? So, it is related to the piston cylinder arrangement. Now, if we observe to calculate the displacement volume, here is the cylinder and this is the piston. Now, in this piston cylinder arrangement, suppose this is the stroke length L and this is the bore diameter D. Then how to calculate its volume? So, we have to calculate first total area. So, total area that is this diameter that means it is in the shape of circle. So, area is pi by 4 d square multiplied by the stroke length L. So, this is the volume. So, this volume is having unit in meter cube. Now, if we observe for this numerator, actual air consumption per cylinder, it is in meter cube per second. Displacement volume of air, it is a unit is meter cube and number of power strokes per second. So, this is the actual number and it is a unit is per second. So, denominator will also become meter cube per second. So, we will put this value. So, for actual air consumption, per cylinder we will put this value 15.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by pi by 4 d square L. So, bore diameter D is we have to take the standard unit 0 0.12 meter and here L is 0 0.1 meter. So, 0 0.12 square multiplied by 0 0.1 and capital N. So, N is 2000. So, 2000 divided by 2 into 60 that is 120. So, when we calculate this, we will get the answer 0 0.823. So, this volumetric efficiency is always in percentage. So, we have to multiply this with 100 and we will get 82 percent. Next question, we will calculate mean piston speed. So, it is a unit is meter per second. So, it is a formula is 2 ln but this n is in rpm that is revolution per minute. But here we want this mean piston speed in meter per second. So, we will divide this by 60. So, when we calculate this we will get 6.67 meter per second. Now, we will calculate brake mean effective pressure PBM. So, it is a formula is BP that is brake power divided by L that is stroke a that is area with bore diameter d pi by 4 d square multiplied by n that is the number of power stroke per second. So, how to calculate this n? So, for 4 stroke engine its a value is n by 2 n divided by 2 but this n is given in rpm. So, we have to take with per second. So, we will divide here with 60. So, we have to take for 4 stroke engine its a value is n divided by 2 into 60 multiplied by k. k is number of cylinders. So, this is 4 cylinder engine. So, we will multiply here with 4. Now, when we put all the values, then we will get the answer. So, here brake power is given in kilowatt. So, kilowatt, but here standard unit is watt. So, we have to write here as a watt. So, how to take 60 multiplied by 10 raised to 3. Now, when we calculate this, we will get the answer 7.96 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square because this pressure is in Newton per meter square. So, which are the standard units? So, this brake power is in watt, then this length that is the stroke length is in meter, then area is in meter square, this n is in per second and this k that is this is the number. So, if we observe we have to take brake power is in watt, length in meter, area is in meter square, n that is the number of stroke, we have to take per second, k is the number. So, with the standard units, we will get the answer in Newton per meter square. So, we will convert it into bar 7.96 bar.